Hello, good evening. I'm Rafael Colodetti, a PhD student in the postgraduate program in the biotechnology at the Federal University of Espírito Santo. The title of the research that I will present is Breast Cancer Screening by Spectroscopy through the Analysis of Plasma Samples. I would like to thank the organizers of the event for the opportunity. I would also like to thank my supervising professor, Dr. Sonia Alves Gouveia. As well, I would also like to thank the uh, Federal University of Espírito Santo. The photo on the left illustrates the campus located in Goiabeiras. The photo on the right uh, is a campus located in Maruípe, the Health Science Center. A special thanks to the colleagues from the Clinical and Experimental Oncologist Laboratory, LOS UFIS, Physiology Postgraduation Program, UFIS, Biotechnology Postgraduation Program, UFIS. Our thanks extend to CAPES, Coordination for the Improvement of Higher Education Personnel, a foundation linked to Brazilian Ministry. Ministry of Education, and FAPES, Espírito Santo Research and Innovation Support Foundation, Secretary of Science, Technology, Innovation, and Professional Education of the State Government of Espírito Santo. I would like to inform you that this is the first time that I have participated in an international congress presenting in English. I will do my best so that everyone can understand me. It will be a challenge, but I will really try. Breast cancer is a heterogeneous disease and its pro spread involves a succession of clinical and pathological states. Screening is predominantly based on mammography, which has a critical limitation related to the effectiveness and production of false positive or false negative results, generating discomfort and low adherence. In this context, infrared with the attenuate total reflection Fourier transform infrared ATR FT IR IR spectroscopy emerges as a non-destructive sample tool which is non-invasive, label-free annual screening, has a low operating cost and require, requires only a small amount of sample, including liquid plasma samples. The aim of this study was to evaluate if ATR, FT, R, IR spectroscopy can be applied as a tool in breast cancer screening through the analysis of plasma samples. Attention! Our intention was to enable diagnosis with subsequent early interventions for a better outcome for a woman at risk of breast cancer. Scientific concerns versus reality. Answer the following question. Have we been able to determine through the evaluation of proteins, nucleic acid, in a blood sample, plasma sample, that some women with breast cancer have a different profile compared to those who do not? If so, we could be able to make the biotechnological resource accessible in places where the challenge scenario of basic health care Access to health through the Brazilian Unified, Unified Health System, SUS, with the goal of performing an early diagnosis, replacing traditional resource, resources such as mammography, ultrasound, and even biopsy, which many times the population does not have access to or has a difficulty with. The study was conducted at the outpatient clinic of the Mastology Service of the Oncology of the Evangelical Hospital of Vila Velha, Brazil, under approval by the Research Ethics Committee 
protocol number 2.285.004 The uh, sample group, asymptomatic woman, 40 plus, with or without a significant history of cancer, annual, annual screening. We analyzed 103 plasma samples from women with and without breast cancer. There were uh, 42 controls and 61 breast cancer patients. The table once contains the epidemiological and clinical pathological data of the sample. The variables breed, menopause, and diastolic blood pressure obtain a significant p-value. ATR, FT, IR spectroscopy through its highest potential spectral Biomarker could distinguish by liquid plasma biopsy, breast cancer patients, and health controls. The figure one uh, demonstrates the average of the spectra of the groups, the CT group in blue and the BC group in red. And the figure two illustrates PLS DA classification model. CT group in blue and BC group in red. The table 2 demonstrates the confusion matrix of the construction and blind testing of the PLSDA model of the samples from the CT and BC groups. The mean variance between the groups was mainly in the band 1511CM. Minlands 1 of the control group, 502 and 5015 CM mainlands 1 of the cancer group. We are the peaks of the bands referring, referring the proteins and amide 2. ATR, EFT, IR obtain a sensitivity of 90. 7%, specificity of 93%, a prediction accuracy of 94%, and receive operating characteristic ROC curve of 97%. It was observed that there are some proteins that women with breast cancer have a higher expression of, while those without cancer don't, do not have the same profile. Therefore, it's possible to screen and establish that women have high levels of certain nucleic, nucleic acids in the ATR FTIR reading making it possible to target this woman for a better tracking through the use of traditional resources. So, ATR-FT-IR spectroscopy has demonstrated to be a promise, prom promising tool for breast cancer screening, given its time efficiency, cost of approach, and its high ability to distinguish between the liquid plasma samples of breast cancer patients and health controls. The advantages of early screening lead to the better life expectancy by identifying asymptomatic individuals at high risk of developing breast cancer, whether due to whether due to environmental, behavioral risk factors, reproductive, hormonal, genetic, or hereditary factors. Whatever consider the limitations of the study, further analysis are needed to complement to complement to complement our data, such as increase the number of women in the sample group, verifying the methods as a breast cancer screening tool, 
if possible, also determining in which stage of evolution the disease is in. Thank you so much. Muito obrigado. Any questions, comments or feedback, please contact us, our email. This is Vitória at night and in the morning. Muito obrigado. Bye.